All right, welcome back to Daybreak. A music therapy group chose the Cayman Islands as their place to visit for their international service project, and they're actually joining us on set this morning. They've been very busy this week. Right next to me, I have Julianne Paralisi. I also have Aaron Murphy. And Georgia, you're going to have to remind me of your last name because I've just forgotten it. Wells. Georgia Wells is yes. joining me as well this morning. So good morning, first of all. Thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Thank Our you. pleasure. Um, Julianne, can you start and give us a little bit of background uh, of what is music therapy and how you guys ended up coming down here? Sure, absolutely. Music therapy is um, an evidence-based practice, an allied health profession, which uses music to address non-musical goals. So that's how it's different from music education, uh, whereas in music education, you would be focusing on musical goals such as learning a skill, something like mm -hmm. that. In music therapy, we focus on non-musical goals such as social goals or mm -hmm. communication goals, even physical rehab goals, um, and, and that is what music therapy is. So this is just, it, it's like any other, you know, it's like speech therapy or occupational therapy. This, is an, this plays an important role in helping development of people particularly that have some sort of special need. Exactly, and often music therapy works in conjunction with those services that you mentioned, speech therapy, occupational therapy, as part of an interdisciplinary team. Okay. They work well together. Why came in? How'd you guys end up? You, you do this every year. You do an international service project every year. Why came in? Well, it started because I used to live here in Cayman, mm -hmm. so I have uh, knowledge of the island and the people. And I've just been reading a lot recently in the news about the the um, the place of Cayman right now in terms of how they're looking at their populations with special needs and the development that is happening right now in the health services the way that they're looking to expand their services for children with autism and people mm -hmm. with special needs across the board. And I just thought that this would be a fabulous time to introduce music therapy as another option for the health, health services on Cayman. And it's, it's important, an important part of the conversation. It's good that people are talking about it and talking about the different ways that they can help this group of people in society. Erin, um, you've spent your week at the Early Intervention Program. What's that been like? Oh, it's really been a, a phenomenal experience. Um, I've met so many people both here on the island um, that work at the Early Intervention Center and the children that have just really, really proved to be uh, an amazing experience. I think my one um, experience that stands out is working with two children um, that have autism and um, normally are not very communicative, um, very kind of shut off from the world and coming into music I would have no idea that's how they were um, during normal times just coming into music and being a part they came alive and really we saw a side of them I guess that was really different than they just um, suddenly blossom absolutely and... absolutely all right and Georgia you spent you actually just saw a little bit of video of that you spent your week uh, at the Sunrise Adult Training Center yes, mm -hmm. um, so you've worked with the different groups some that are a little bit higher functioning that mm -hmm. have been involved in, in some of the Special Olympics yeah. and some that uh, don't are not as high functioning what's your experience been like uh, the coolest thing about that is when they get to the music group, uh, the, you don't really even pay attention to what their level of functioning is because it's really, uh, it's one and the same. When they get to music, they're all so musical and that's really what we're focusing on. The clients at Sunrise are so musical and they just love making music and the coolest thing about being at Sunrise this week is a lot of the folks that we met and uh, got to spend our time with were involved in the Special Olympics this week so we revolved a lot of our music activities around uh, the Special Olympics and kind of used that as our over kind of overlying theme for the week um, so it really gave them a chance to be empowered and really focus on their abilities and what they can do and what they do well uh, which is not only music, but uh, other things in their lives. So it's been really special. That's so important for this this population because uh, most people do look at what they can't do, and so this is you know this is, let's turn the tables and talk about what they can do. So a week spent working with these different groups. You've also been at Lighthouse School. Um, I, I believe you've also been at Hope Academy as well. Or um, no, we haven't had a chance have to visit them okay. this week. But. So what happened? What do you leave all of these groups with that you've been working with? Where do they go from here? In 
in continuing this opportunity to use music therapy to work with their clients. Absolutely. We've been focusing this week on doing activities that the schools can continue after we're gone, the schools and the Sunrise Center. And we'll be leaving a number of the sites with a packet of music that they can continue to use. And we've also raised a lot of money back home to donate instruments oh, uh, wow. to each of the sites we've been working at. So we're really hoping that they'll be able to continue making music there. And we've also left them with some resources about how to contact a music therapist um, if they are interested in continuing the music therapy program itself uh, That's at their such sites. a great impact. So. And I want to mention, we're almost out of time. They're going to start hollering at me upstairs. Mm -hmm. um, tonight, you guys are going to be at the Special Olympics. They're closing yes. events um, at the ARC at Kamada Bay. What can people expect? Uh, we are so excited to be there. It's been a thrill to be involved in the Special Olympics. Um, I think uh, it's going to be a great evening. There's some music and dancing, and we are going to be doing a special song that combines the goals of the Special Olympics and music therapy together, and we might have uh, some of our individuals up on stage with us this evening. So Fantastic. please come by and check okay. it out. We're very proud of them. We want everybody to come down to the Arc at Kamana Bay. We have to thank DART for donating that space. 5 o'clock tonight, be part of the Special Olympics closing ceremony, and you never know, you might want to get involved in the Special Olympics after this.